This world has been sundered by a tide of arcane energy. The winds of magic churned into a maelstrom. The Tome of Fate drew me north to find out why. It guided me to a distant fortress steeped in blood. A battle was fought there. Though long over, the spirit still lingered. In the shadow of a broken portal, the trail ended. It was here the tome conversed with the dead. They told of Urson, the bear god of Kislev, lost in darkness. A noble prince ventured to save him, yet he strayed from the path and was corrupted by chaos. Savior became executioner. A single shot bound in faith forsaken pierced Urson's heart. And so the bear god roared. The tide that broke the world. Spirits, where lies Urson now? Is he here, in the north? Beyond the maelstrom, in the realm of chaos, on the Forge of Souls. Is he alive? Wounded and dying, and risen in shadow. What shadow? A demon's? A master of the dark. <laughs> I knew who shackled the bear. Bellacor. Only a fool would challenge Bellacor. And yet, the power of a dying god, there is no greater prize. A mere drop of Urson's blood would break my curse, ending my servitude to this accursed book. Free to profit from its secrets. But Urson is locked in the Forge of Souls, deep in the realm of chaos, and I cannot enter this nightmarish domain. All roots have been sealed by the Maelstrom. There must be a way. Ah, the tome unveils a spell to summon a portal. One to bypass the maelstrom and create a door into chaos. Knowledge to bargain, for I need an ally. One who is tempted by the power of the god bear and can withstand the horrors within. A nation in mourning. False news has arrived before me. They believe Ursun is already dead. My proposition will require a delicate touch. I speak the truth! Your god is not dead! He lies in the realm of chaos! A captive of the Shadow Lord! It is no lie! For one drop of Urson's blood, I can help you save him! Choose your last words wisely, old man. Through your bloodline, you and the bear are one. See past your grief. Search your heart. Urson is alive. He speaks the truth. He speaks the truth. Silence! We have lost what is most precious. Many say I am at fault. That I no longer have the right to sit on this throne. So I stand. I stand with my people. All of you. 
And if it comes to it, I shall die with my people. We have been blinded by grief. Ursun lives. And while he fights to draw breath, we fight for him! For Ursun! For Kislev! For Ursun! For Kislev! Kislev marches north into hell. Grand Cathay, a vast empire to the east, ruled by powerful creatures, dragons, who can inhabit human form. You are gravely mistaken. We have no interest in a mere god's power. No interest in power to use against the forces of chaos? I am Yao Yi, the Storm Dragon. Older than the gods themselves. You are here for a greater purpose. This map shows the energy of all things. There should be harmony, but the world is unbalanced. My younger sister, Shenzhou, bringer of light and hope. She ventured beyond the Norskan Mountains but was lost. Without her, without her light, darkness prevails, and our family has no comfort. Though I feel your loss, the Tome of Fates provides no insight to your sister's whereabouts. Ursa knows he witnessed her fate. Then why does he not tell you, Iron Dragon? There is mistrust between dragons and gods. If we save Ursun, he will tell us how to find Shen Tzu. Let me serve you, mighty dragons. I can reach Ursun, lead you to him before it's too late, for one drop of his blood. Your destiny is to guide us. The armies of Cathay must breach the Maelstrom and march into chaos. Balance will be restored to the world when Shenzhou is returned to you. Jagged rocks and rivers of fire. Here, I found the greatest of all bloodthirsters. Bones of all that walked or crawled littered his lair. Scarbrand, rage and gut. I had but a moment to make my case. The time it took to sharpen his murderous blades. The demon had spent millennia harvesting skulls to earn the forgiveness of his master, the Chaos God, Korn. The skull of Urson would gain his favor. What do you know of Korn's favor? Nothing, mighty Scarbrand. I am but a servant, ready to aid your slaughter. I can smell the magic on you, seer. I'll take your skull. Why take mine when you can have the skull of a god? Let me guide you through the maelstrom to where Belagor imprisons the bear. Take his skull. All I want is a drop of Urson's blood. Keep your skull. Give me the bear. One skull for the throne. The rest are mine to collect. It was in the Palace of Ruin I found Nakari, the Keeper of Secrets. His den of excess was no place for mortals. 
With every step, it whispered promises of all I desire. Like others before me, my soul yearned to be ensnared. But I knew if I succumbed here, he would own me for eternity. I made my revelations quickly, before my senses gave way. Yet Nakari found the tale of Belakor and Urson tiresome. It was a secret he kept already. As my mind clouded, I made a final gambit. I would guide him through the maelstrom to the bear's deathbed. The bear is tempting. The sorrow of a dying god. Yours to treasure. A treasure to cherish. I want it. You will give it to me. One drop of Urson's blood. That is my fee. Advise me well, and you will have your desire. Fail me, and I will have your soul. Ogres feast to honor Greasus the Overtyrant. Their appetites are ferocious. I must be weary. Time is up, wizard. No, put him in the stew. Wait, wait! Untold power can be harnessed from a dying god. Power? Ogres take what they want. What more power do we need? Boil the pot! Fresh meat! Please wait! The god is a bear! You can't devour it! Quiet! A bear, you say? Sounds tasty! Shut up! A new meat. God flesh. Enough for you, your warriors, and your god, the Great Maw. <sighs> I can smell it now. Roast god ribs. A feast! Like no other. You're no meat eater. What's in it for you? My book reveals a path to his deathbed. I will show you the way for one drop of Urson's divine blood. One drop. The ogres get the rest. That is the deal. Gallows tree, dwelling of Kugath, father of plagues. There is no greater brewmaster of phage and pox than he. To describe the squalor of the fetid sewer is impossible. I risked my very flesh to tread it. Kogarth thought me but another specimen for his grotesque experiments. Before the rot consumed me, I offered something finer. Belagor has imprisoned the god bear of Kislev. Oh, how delightful. If Belagor has struck, there'll be plenty of carrion for me. Urson himself lies dying. Fatally wounded in the Forge of Souls. A dying god. The finest corpse from which to brew a plague. A god pox, mighty Kuga. A god pox. Why, oh, you tempt me, old man. But I cannot reach the Forge of Souls. The Maelstrom prevents us. I can reach it and guide you to the dying bear. And why would you do this? Little healthy mortal. For a single drop of Urson's blood. That is my fate. <laughs> blood! Blood for you! The body for me! Silvered Tower, refuge of Kairos Fateweaver, 
the most powerful of all demon sorcerers. I found the great conjurer searching for a spell to pass through the maelstrom, but his scribe scoured every book in vain. I told him of Urson, held captive in the Forge of Souls, but he dismissed my wisdom. We already know of Banakor's plot, for I see the past, and I see the future. But you are blind to the present. You did not see the Maelstrom, nor can you decipher a path through it. The Tome of Fate holds the answer. The spell we search for. Kill him, brother. Take it. Only I can use it. The Tome is bound to my soul. We can unpick it. No, let him serve us. For one drop of good blood, I have foreseen it. Peck out the eyes of Ursa. Use their power to view the present. The sight of a god. The past, present, and future. All will be ours to see.